Doctor Strange. Today we are going to be creating a Doctor Strange cake. I'm excited about this. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Benedict Cumberbatch and today we are making a Doctor Strange cake. Now to create this cake, I'm using my PVC pipe system and I'm also using some styrofoam to create the bottom of his head so that I don't have to use that much cake. I'm using a 10 inch round cake. I dyed it green because of the time stone, which I just realized doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so I've got a 10 inch cake going on. I'm gonna add a layer of buttercream in the middle and then my second layer of cake. So my cakes are stacked. Next thing I'm gonna do is carve. Now I'm using these really expensive knives. No, I'm joking, I got them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Usually when I'm carving my cakes, I'm using like that oversized serrated knife. So I bought these so I don't have to do that. <laughs> Now just in case, I baked another 10 inch round cake, which I'm glad I did because I needed more cake at the top to create his hair. So I just finished carving. This is a cake so far, look at it. So I made sure that I could account for this swoop. It's really nice, almost like Superman. Almost as nice as Superman's. And then I left a lot of space here for buttercream so that I can really shape his face well. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is give this cake a crumb coat place it in the fridge to set up, and then I'm gonna add my skin tone layer of buttercream. And when I was adding his skin tone layer of buttercream, I wasn't sure how tan Benedict Cumberbatch was. He seems really pale, kind of pasty. And so I decided to make his skin tone lighter and then just darken it with like luster dust later on. And I'm adding a lot more buttercream than I need. And I'm just gonna shave it away little by little. And the first thing I did was make sure that I got all the spacing of his features right. So like where his brow bone meets his nose, the space in between his nose and his mouth, and his mouth and his chin. After that, I started to shape all of those elements very carefully and tried to make it as symmetrical as possible. And you're gonna notice that by the end of this cake, I kind of failed on the symmetry. <laughs> Like his nose and like the bottom of his face are just like crooked. <laughs> this is just a crooked Doctor Strange variant. And I was happy with his face. I removed some buttercream where his eyes are and then I added two gumballs to create those eyes. I love how glossy they are. Once those were in, I added black buttercream to create his hair and black was like the wrong color. <laughs> it gets darker, so I actually had to scrape all of this off, lighten it to be more of like a charcoal gray and then reapply it. I need to figure out how to avoid using paint brushes because it's really scary to think that some of these bristles come off in the buttercream. I'm very careful, but I don't want that to happen at all. So we've got the gray on top and then we have a lighter gray on the sides. I applied it with a paintbrush and then I scraped it away with some pottery tools. Creating all of this texture for Dr. Hare's strain, uh, Dr. Hare's <laughs> Dr. Strange's hair, it, it was hard. Hair texture is really hard to create with buttercream. But very slowly I just added texture and tried to separate all this buttercream to look like strands of hair. This isn't my technique yet. I think I'm gonna try silicone like basting brushes. That way I can really avoid any of the bristles coming off in the buttercream. Now when I was happy with his head of hair, I started to add buttercream to create the hair on his eyebrows and his goatee. It's a lighter shade of gray, but I'm gonna darken it with some gray luster dust later on. It'll help me blend it to the rest of his face. Now most of his hair is created with buttercream, but the three strands at the front are created with fondant so that it gives it more of a 3D element. Cause he has a really nice swoop. Then I added very thin layers of fondant to create his eye color. And I'm just gonna use luster dust to give him pupils and some catch lights. Then we got some blush, a little bit of eyeshadow. All of this luster dust makeup is just making up for all of the carving that I did wrong. <laughs> now when I was happy with all of his Doctor Strange makeup, I gave him a fondant color and voila, my Doctor Strange cake was complete. What do you think? It feels like such an achievement. <laughs> I know I messed up a lot, but wow, I did that. I was carving this cake up until like, probably like 20 minutes ago. Even when I think I'm finished, I'll take another look at it and there's something that I just wanna like scratch away. Even looking at it right now, there's stuff that I wanna change, but 
you know, I need to just stop. I love the way this turned out, mistakes and all. His face is crooked as heck, <laughs> but I still love it. Now I'm curious, did you guys watch Multiverse of Madness and was it as crazy as you thought it would be? I'm gonna be honest, I was a little underwhelmed because I knew that they cut so much out. So I really wish it was more gory. <laughs> and I heard that it was going to be. You know, but I did gasp at a lot of the cameos. And I don't want to give any away, but there's one that just, wow, I, I, I did not expect that. And then there's Black Bolt, <laughs> which was, I'm glad he died. Now this cake, I thought so it was going to be like a Doctor Strange cake to celebrate a Doctor of Strange of the Multiverse of Madness. Finished. This one cake thing that took I love about the movie three is weeks. that I finish it one night, the next day I'm supposed to film the outro, and then She's I like would spend percent of the that movie. entire next the day just X carving some more though. because there were it things that I didn't like about it. I did that for like two weeks as soon as possible. I just get too many things. I wonder if this cake is dry. The Scarlet Witch is my favorite part of the movie. Now that you've seen me make Doctor Strange, what Marvel superhero should I make? Next, should I also make Wanda? Be played by Terry already made Wanda cake. <laughs> Maybe America Chavez. What did you think of the next movie? face cakes? I'm gonna be making are seven. Oh no, what is her name? Eleven, <laughs> and then Miss Marvel. So if you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye. So I just finished my Doctor Strange cake, but you know what? Like, what if I wasn't finished and I gave him like that third eye that he has in the movie? What? That would be so cool. So I need to add some buttercream glue and I'm going to take this cake and I'm going to put it back in. Yeah. Ugh, there we go. Nobody will ever know. So I think the eye is going to be here. Make a hole. Hopefully this eye looks better than the one in the movie. That CGI was terrible. So I cut my gumball in half. There we go. Now I'm just going to blend the buttercream around it. And I think I need to give him like another brow bone. Now I'm using a paintbrush and just blending in the new buttercream into his forehead. Now I'm gonna create the basic shape of the eye and then I'm just gonna shave buttercream away to make it look more realistic. I added color to his eye, some luster dust makeup, and voila, my new and improved Doctor Strange cake is complete. What do you think? It's just so gross, huh? <laughs> Makes me not want to eat cake anymore. <laughs> Creating this third eye took me an hour and then the rest of the cake took me three weeks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ready to throw this in the trash now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> so let's start my Doctor Strange cake. Now carving this cake was easy. I just carved a lot of cake away at the top to create his hairline. And then I carved a lot at the front to give me some room for buttercream. All the detail on this cake is made with buttercream. So I really just had to carve a generic rounded face shape. Super simple. Is Benedict Cumberbatch like super pale? It was hard to create the skin tone buttercream for Doctor Strange because I couldn't figure out how tan Benedict Cumberbatch was. In some pictures he looks really pasty and then in others he has really nice color. I decided that making the buttercream lighter and then darkening it with luster dust would probably be the best strategy. So that's what I did and it ended up working out really well. I hate using paintbrushes on buttercream. If one of the bristles comes off in the buttercream and I don't see it. That's scary. Paintbrushes make really good hair texture though, but I need to find another way to go about this. Next time I think I'm gonna try using silicone basting brushes. You know, they're not as fine, but I don't have to worry as much. Now to finish my Doctor Strange cake, I used a lighter shade of gray to create his facial hair. And then I just blended it with darker luster dust. Luster dust? kind of saved this cake. I was able to hide a lot of my carving mistakes with luster dust. Also, he doesn't look so pasty anymore. This cake is so dry. <laughs> it took me three weeks to complete this cake. I was done after five days, but every day after that, I just kept finding things that I wanted to change. And before I knew it, three weeks of my life were gone. I had to eat this cake with coffee because it was so dry. I learned a lot, so hopefully the next cake I create won't take as long. Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, this third eye is so gross. After I finished my Doctor Strange cake, I watched Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and I decided to upgrade this cake by giving him a third eye. I thought it would look really cool, but it doesn't. It kind of grosses me out. And looking back, 
I didn't think it was all that cool in the movie. <laughs> but I did it. It's a thing. Here, here you go. <laughs>